back to my channel please don't mind i am just waking up and doing this voiceover so i'm gonna sound like i haven't slept in a few days but i am bringing to you guys a new video or tutorial showing you how i achieve my no part look um, i've been getting a lot of requests to do this type of a style i haven't done this in quite some time um, i'm a sucker for a side part or a middle part um, so I was a little bit nervous about doing the no part because your hair has to be like a good length to be able to do this without it looking awkward, especially being that my hair is layered. So I felt like, you know what, let me give this a try. My hair has grown in over time, so I wanted to also give my edges a break. Um, so as you're seeing here, I am doing this style on an old twist out. I just went in with the polished oil from Niche Beauty just to kind of revive my scalp because it was a little bit dry. And I'm using a little bit of water just to open up the cuticle so I can add my styling product. Um, now, doing flat twists, it's very important that you, you know, make sure that you get that product in your hair and detangle it as much as possible. So I'm going to be doing that here. I'm kind of just like separating my hair and opening it up. Um, and now I'm going in with the Luxbox Curls Curl Defining Cream. I love this cream because it really melts into my hair. It's very easy to use and manage with my hair, especially when it's old. Um, so I'm just detangling my hair here as much as possible. And then I'm going in with my flat twist. Now I'm doing it toward the front of my face. Being that because when I take out these twists, it will lay right where I want it to. And so that's why I'm doing it in a forward position. Um, I also use my uh, Felicia Leatherwood brush just so that I can get some definition into my hair even though um, these are going to kind of be like medium sized twists. But I'm just going to be repeating the same steps throughout my entire hair using the oil in my scalp first, then the water, then the styling cream, and then detangling and then going ahead and um, twisting my hair. But you'll also see toward my ends that I use Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine just to seal in the moisture from my ends because those are like the most fragile part of your hair. It's the oldest part of your hair and especially when you're retwisting, you want to make sure that you get that moisture to your ends too so that you can avoid as much knots as possible. So you can just enjoy me flat twisting my hair and then I'll come back to you just to show you how I do the unraveling process. This is about two days later and as per usual I'm always usually rushing when I have to unravel my hair in the morning 
So as you can see, in the back of my hair, I did regular like medium sized twists. I only flat twisted the front. Um, and so when I was taking out these twists, some parts I was just kind of separating it where it naturally separates. But then there were other parts where I twirled just to make sure I maintained the curl uh, shape and it wouldn't get too frizzy. Um, but my hair was nice and dry. And what's really going to be important is the flat twist, making sure you take your time taking that out because that could be more prone to frizz if you take it out too quick. So, I mean, for me, I was rushing, but make sure you take your time when taking out your flat twist. But I really, really like the way it came out. Um, you'll see toward the end, the end results. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you've done a no part or you like when I do a no part, let me know in the comments. Um, but this is just a short little tutorial to show you guys how I achieve this. And let me know if there are any other styles that you want me to try. Um, just so I can get some ideas of videos to film for you guys. But thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy the rest of it. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And you'll keep up with all my new videos that I'll be coming out with. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.